get out and walk. We have got some cracking news for someone. Back in the winter, we had a mega session down in Tobin Manor. And in that video, we announced that we're going to do a three rod giveaway. Fire. <laughs> yeah, we've been in the swim about an hour, so rods are out. And uh, yeah, we... Uh, uh. <laughs> got that right. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Into the pond. Oh yeah. It's definitely gonna be entertaining if we have one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally gonna have to just reel in all the rods. So that the legs were like right down. Oh. You have you got them? short ones on the back? Then you've got long ones on the front. This is actually pretty solid against this back back piece. Uh, I just lob it out there, mate, you see. God, donks right down. Right then, so a bit of an evening update for you then. The rods are out and uh, yeah, I rose slightly before Sean, so did a lap of the lake, did all the hard work and uh, yeah, seen a couple out in front of one of the car park swims and actually, mate, to be fair, you were a bit of a good luck charm because as he arrived, another one showed so uh, yeah concrete decision that we'd be dropping in here you want to tell them what we're doing yeah so um we've dropped into the same swim just because the fish we saw were quite concentrated in one area uh, the guy in the next swim has actually had a bite unfortunately he lost it but it's a good sign we've just put two rods out each to keep the lines down a little bit if i think if we fish three each two extra lines is possibly going to put them off a little bit more but um just both on zigs um sort of three quarter depth pretty much and that is literally it, nice and simple. It's worked for me in the past, so I'm pretty confident we've got a chance of having one at least between us, haven't we? Yeah, I think a lot of baits, I've seen a lot of bait going into the into the lake this afternoon. So uh, yeah, I think we'll go against the green, fish zigs, and uh, see if we can have one during the night. You may be able to see in the corner of the screen, the barbecue's on, it's billowing away, and I think actually it's almost meat ready. So uh, let's stop talking. Cheers, mate. Let's catch a fish and get some food on there. More importantly that. <laughs> get on. Right, well, good morning then. Bit of an update for you. Unfortunately, nothing to report for the night um, other than a good night's sleep. Thankfully, Sean got up nice and early to watch the water. I put my head out of the bag, seen he was doing that, and thought, well, that'll do. I'll, uh, I'll get another hour in the bag. So, uh, yeah, nothing to report for the night. Seen a couple show right out in the middle, but it's well beyond a really heavy weed bed. So, I don't feel it'd be safe to um, sort of chuck rigs at them. I think one bloke's had one in the far left hand corner, absolutely miles away from us. But, uh, yeah, other than that, seen absolutely nothing coming out across the lake. And uh, yeah, very little shows in our area, mate, really, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a bit tricky. It's so busy and there seems to be more and more people arriving all the time. I've got no idea where they're going because there don't really seem to be any swims available, but they're, sort of, they're obviously slotting in somewhere. But um, to be fair, we treat this session as a bit of a social, really. Um, we haven't been out on the bank together for a while. Um, I've been doing a bit on the syndicate and obviously I've done a couple of sessions on here. And Hugh's actually been out with the ProLogic cameras and done a bit of filming up at Linear Fisheries. So um, keep your eyes peeled because that'll be coming out soon. But um, other than that, we haven't been able to get out together. So it's a bit of a social. We had a barbecue, a few beers last night and um, had a bit of a catch up. So we've kind of treated it a little bit like that, really, as opposed to um, sort of 100% on the fishing. But we have um, 
got an area the best we can. Like Hugh said, there's been fish on beyond us, so we've just done what we can really. And yeah, yeah. it's not happened yet, has it? Not but yet. We'll keep chucking zigs at them and uh, fish out the morning and see what happens, I suppose. So, well, we're looking at you, we're not watching the water. So, until something happens, I suppose, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> So a bit of a mid-morning update for you. Unfortunately, we haven't had anything, but there's been the odd fish show in front of us, seen a few sort of cruising just sort of under the surface. So what I'm, I've decided to do is actually lengthen the zigs a little bit. So I've put a four foot zig on in the hope that I might be able to nail one on that. Um, earlier on, because it was a little bit fresher this morning, Hugh actually decided to shorten some zigs just to sort of vary the depths and see if that was gonna produce anything. But at the moment, it's not produced the goods, but hopefully something will come of it. So we're going to just keep recasting the rods, changing the zigs, and just trying to make something happen. But uh, the lake is, as we've said before, it's really busy. There's not a huge amount getting caught, so just got to try our best. And hopefully we will have something to show you later in the vid. just um recasting one of the rods we've been fishing most of them a similar sort of area to be honest out on the um furthest bit of weed just sort of short of it as it looks like a pretty decent area the fish are going to be patrolling but we've also got a bank of weed in front of us so i'm going to go a little bit closer and just fish just past that one bank of weed in in the margin as it also looks like an area the fish might be. There's been a few tesh, tench roll, but um, we've not really seen any carp today, but uh, it's worth a go just to um, cover different areas in the swim. So I'm just gonna flick this one out and you never know, it might go off. because we've got a big bank of weed in front of us we've got the tips up high just to try and get over the marginal weed in close it's not the best line not the best line lay but you've got to do what you can do jobs are good on 
Any good meat? See much? Not much? Seen a, seen a couple of cameras. <laughs> Right then, well unfortunately that is the end of the session and it is a blank from both of us, but uh, we have tried hard, chopping and changing those zigs, I'm confident that was the right tactic, but uh, yeah, it's just not happened for us. I think there's only been one fish out overnight and that was to a chap right in the far corner, so fair play to him, but yeah, apologise, we have tried hard, but yeah, it's just not happened for us. But we have got some cracking news for someone, back in the winter we had a mega session down on Tobin Manor, and in that video we announced that we are going to do a three rod giveaway, and uh, yeah, this is actually the first time we've been back out on the bank together and able to do the, this sort of result. So, over to you, mate. So, I found a random comment picker on YouTube, and um, I'm going to switch to the GoPro just to show you. And essentially, you just type in the link for the video, and it just picks one of the comments randomly. And um, that's probably the fairest way we thought we could do it. So, I have actually already done it, because um, we've had a few issues with uh, signal. But um, anyway, the um, winner is... Darwin Davies, who said, um, epic session, minus Storm Franklin, 22.4, cracker, really got those bags on point top dangling, guys. Look forward to the next vid. So, thanks for uh, commenting, everyone. Well done, Darwin, for uh, winning the set of rods. If you can get in contact with us, either on Instagram or Facebook, we're obviously trying to sort out getting them sent out to you. But um, we'll be bringing some more competitions probably the, throughout the year if we can, and hopefully get some uh, different kit out to some of you guys for thanking you for supporting the channel but um it's time to go home isn't it mate it is mate it's time to go so as always thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe to the, the the video comment down below if there's anything you would have done differently give us some advice and uh yeah i guess until you need next it time, yeah i do need it and until next time get out on the bank and be lucky and follow us on social media down below oh